G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a bloody golf club with 40% faster swing speed and plus one endurance, major and minor legendary effects, respectively. Now, The Last of Us 2 came out two days ago as of this recording, and to honor that game, I've heard that the game's had a really good reception for its uh, golf mini game. So, in honor of that, I'm going to be using a golf club in Fallout 76. And if you're wondering whether you'll actually see The Last of Us 2 on this channel, I'll just put it to you this way. I like my video games how I like my video games, with lots of gameplay in them. Moving back to this game, as you can tell, the golf club here has been modified quite a little bit um, to suit the uh, mood of the uh, post-apocalypse, and you've got a Cirque blade right on the edge of that, and there seems to be like a trigger duct tape to that, the side of the club as well on the shaft, which is kind of cool, but it's functionally useless, it's just there to push this damage number up a little bit further, and I think this is the best modification there is for a golf club, so there you go. Anyway, so yeah, bloodied swing speed, high damage, but when we compare this to a power fist, yeah, the damage difference is quite apparent. We're off to a, we're off to a slow start here. Next, uh, let's go ahead and check out some of these perks for this. It's a slugger weapon, a two-handed melee weapon, so you'll use the exact same animations as you would a super sledge. It works fine. You might even say that it just works, so three of those slugger perks goes on, and we'll also grab Bloody Mess in Luck, and the build is the, the standard thing here. Nothing too much to talk about there that is different. And now we're doing 195, which is still below our unspec. Oh yeah, of course, because of the extra strength this thing gave me. Yeah, it's still below the unspec uh, power fist there. Oh well. Okay, Becca is in Nerd Rage. There it is. And now we're doing... 925, 925, it's a working class man weapon, this one, or woman in this case. And uh, if we go over to the power fist, we're getting out damage by it significantly, even though we're fully specced for this, so, oh well, that, that doesn't matter all that much. What I want to do, discuss quickly, is the Under Armour that I'm using. Right now it's Shielded Brotherhood, which gives me 2 Strength and 3 Endurance, but come patch 20, they'll add the Secret Service Armors, which give you 4 Strength, 4 Endurance, and 2 Perception, which would, wow, perfect for this build. Really need that, so save up Gold Bullion if that interests you. Okay, so here we are outside of Rivet City. This is the uh, alternative universe where the Brotherhood of Steel and the DC didn't exist, so the Super Mutants just kind of took over everything. Here's what we look like with the Golf Club, and unfortunately, the Cirque Saw. We're not getting much use out of that. It'd be cool if you'd actually modified it like this. It would be, you know, like it would be if you were using something like a Mr. Handy Buzz Blade. Just completely change it. Also, I could have sworn I heard some chameleon next to me. Okay, basically I'm going mad. Anyway, so second best uh, Captain Noob character of Fallout 76. I should have an easy time cutting through these guys. I like Becca. Like, Winter's my favorite, but Becca's, she's the best. Anyways, so um, as it turns out, I've put my headphones on backwards, so let me just try that. Now I don't have a real life perception debuff to hamper my gameplay here. And this thing has passed the test. It's passed the test already because I can swing this without being instantly detected, which means, bam, three times multipliers all the time. But we, we kind of don't need that. I think we've got the tankiness to stand up to a lot of this. And this is the really good thing about, although he's saying that. Yeah, just shrug off that saga. Yeah, we've got the tankiness because how much endurance do we have base? It, it'd be heaps. But yeah, that's like at 13 now. I think the boosting that we get from the actual suit doesn't actually do much except for um, reduce the AP drain, like whacking the Brotherhood of Steel thing on doesn't increase your health, which I guess why is why, because if you can improve your endurance, your health will proportionally go up. And also, that is a that was a very poor play by me, but that Super Mutant got lucky. He, he managed to panic fire and hit every single one of those shots, so good on that Super Mutant skirmish here. He's, he's showing all the big board Warlord boys how it's done. Unfortunately, he was only armed with a pipe gun, so he, he went down pretty quickly. Anyways, we're done outside here, and uh, I guess we'll continue to, uh, I guess, one-shot everything. That's pretty good. Stealth is overrated. Let's just run in and smash stuff. We'll, we'll be like Super Mutant. Need to fight, need to smash. And apparently, we're doing this so quickly that we're taking them off guard. That one just forgot that I was there. That's a bug that happens fairly commonly, but we've got the swing speed, which means the DPS of this would be greatly increased if we didn't have it. Yeah, I'm thinking that on balance, swing speed is probably better in all situations as compared to 
um, extra power attack damage simply because the DPS is there. You don't have to, you know, power attack to actually get that extra damage. Although in these situations where you were running around with power attack damage, doing the old sprint and whacking them, I'd be getting a lot more damage. But as you can tell, I'm kind of doing the damage already. So being able to swing a lot faster and get that DPS out there seems to be good. Maybe if the thing already hits uh, fast enough, you could probably be better off with it. Also, that was interesting. Yeah, I picked up a legendary Ripper, um, dropped off from my other character, who is no longer melee. So, you know, if we want to retest a, a bloodied power attack Ripper, that's one of the only weapons that I find power attack to be more useful on because the swing speed factor doesn't actually... Nice reach. Doesn't actually affect the amount of... Um, normal hitting you'd get if it's an automatic chainsaw weapon um, like the Ripper or a uh, Mr. Handy Buzz Blade. Swing speed only affects the power attack speed and you don't want to be doing that. You want to be power attacking every so often you know if you want to get a decent multiplier but for the most part you just want to hold the mouse button one down or whatever the fuck you use in a controller and kill your things that way. These super mutants are very not switched on today. Bloody Deros, that's why they're eliminated from the gene pool. If the super mutants were that clever in real life, I don't think the humans would have any problem. For some reason, FEV is overpowered in these games. So I'm thinking this is one of these situations where the swing speed would be extra good because we kind of want to kill these tools before they can get on top of me and start messing with my health bar in a way that would mean that HP equals zero. And we've got the extra swing speed, so provided that we don't run into a bunch of ghouls and then get killed super quickly, we'll be okay. Also, the ghouls are, like, really lazy these days. Really lazy. Like, get up. Back in my day, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Also, apparently that was the fifth legendary creature that I've killed today. I'm going to be honest, I just kind of logged on, but I will take that mutant spear. I've already got one with power attack damage, so that's definitely script, so thank you for that. Um, what I do with script on this character is I could try to get a, a bloody power attack damage or swing speed gauntlet or a... a a cattle prod, which are great weapons, by the way. You should definitely try to fetch yourself a meta version of one of those things. The only thing I'm concerned about here is the radiation. We seem to be tanking whatever the ghouls can throw at us fairly easily here. I, okay, I think we're done. It might be... Oh, there's one guy upstairs that I didn't kill. See, this is the problem when they're all lazy and boring. They don't all run at you. Like, come on. Come on, charred feral ghoul. That's right. Sit down and think about what you've done. That ghoul's in the naughty corner. And honestly, I think you get the point. We can leave the ones outside. Oh, just kidding. They actually want to come for me. Not happening, ghoul. Jeez, I'm getting sloppy. I didn't even bother to clear out these blokes. Also, that one was a drug dealer ghoul, which is nice. I mean, look at that. That's value right there. Hey, do you remember when Deathclaws were scary and would rip the player to shreds as soon as look at them? Becca surely doesn't. Alrighty, next up we've got some dudes who lack um, the shard a little bit too much, followed by a giant mutant behemoth fellow. Now, oh, that was a cool trick. Now you gotta watch these guys sometimes because they're packing some heat. Like that one had a sniper rifle of the plasma variety on him. Like what are you doing with that? Don't you dare press that button. That one had marine armor, good for you man. But yeah, sometimes their weapons do a hell of a lot more damage than they should. Maybe that was one of the symptoms of them dropping those uh, very, I guess. Oh, see? Look at that! Just, just incinerated, just completely destroyed by an AI, no less. Oh, and you're going to go back to sleep after that. Sure, whatever. No big deal. So I don't know what the deal with these guys are, but I think that, like, the use of those things were linked. That's probably a suspicious laser rifle, isn't it? No, but it probably would have been pre-patch. I'm looking at the stats that didn't seem to be anything... Unnet, like, anything too out of the ordinary with this. No, it was firing a lot slower, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. So, they'll use the things that are in Nuclear Winter, but um, you can't access them anymore. Which is uh, kind of sad, because I... I think I sold my, or I got rid of my suspicious laser gun. Would have been 
you know, a little bit of a nice thing to keep around. Anyways, so we'll just gain some radiation. We could probably take this one pretty easily. Hit cheap shot the balls. Yeah, take that. Three power attacks and that'll send it. Also, shut up. My phone keeps pinging me with news. And I don't I don't care. What is this ABC news? No, not not listening to that. Sorry. Now, going back to that incident with the um, Blood Eagle, I actually think that's kind of good because, honestly, the challenge from our enemies is lacking. So if these, like, Wastelander factions come in, in the game and they're really strong and hard to deal with... I've also got a Gatling laser. Look at that guy. He's trying to take on all these crabs. He's doing a good job versus me. I just got disintegrated. I'm getting my ass handed to me. There's another one, too. They've got squad spawn tactics from Battlefield. Enough fucking around though, I don't- Ooh, this guy might have actually killed them all. Nope, the, the Milo King actually ran off, but yes, enough screwing around. We'll find out where the last of these guys went. No, no, one of them's alive somewhere. There's the ashes of me, so I guess technically this is a new Becca because otherwise the ashes would have cleared up by now, right? <laughs> who knows? Anyways, so a nice jump from the Milo Queen there. First shot appears to whiff, but then it doesn't. Whiffed a couple of hits there, but we managed to come out of that fight on top, so that's pretty good. Ah, there you are. Yeah, so these these dudes are actually kind of strong, which is nice. There's a little bit of a threat to them. It's it's difficulty dumbed right, because if you see any blood eagles, you got to go for them first, because they'll mess you up. Also, not having the defensive perks for the, um, for the usual unarmed build probably doesn't help me all that much. But I could be in power armor right now, so it's my fault for being an idiot. Okay, so apparently we're straight into the fight here because the AI decided to fly a Scorch Beast right over me and I got spotted. That's okay, we can deal with this. As soon as we get that one. Nice health regen game, thanks Bethesda, very cool. Let's just get you on the ground, my man. There we go, he's even a legendary Scorch Beast, so he'll put up a little bit more of a fight. Man, I wish I had Blocker right now. Alright, let's see if we can't go back into caution. Probably can ourselves, but he's being shut up by a robot, so this sneak crit won't land. Or maybe it will. Uh, nonetheless, we'll have to deal with these robots sometime later, so whilst they're all distracted on the Scorch Beast, that sentry bot is posing a particular problem, so let's deal with him. Man, I miss Fallout 4 Blitz Distance. Ah, that's interesting. I actually, uh, if you're not super quick on what I actually did. I started the swing before I entered VATS, and when the swing actually came to pass, I teleported near them, so accidental genius on my part there. Yeah, you can't go wrong with a, a 800, 8000 attack boop on the head. We are under 10% health now, I assume, because the, uh, the volume faded out. There's your shotgun, you managed to figure out where it was. And then we'll deal with the rest of these guys. We'll pepper them with a couple of bullets here and there. Pellets, actually. My terminology probably done. And what I might do here is just pop one of these, just in case I get irradiated to death. There was like a frame where the Scorch Beast kind of showed up. Alright, without Snake Criticals, not doing as well. Managed to pop the, uh... Shit me, I'm going to die. Yeah, managed to pop the, I guess, the legendary mutation there, so that's pretty good. You aren't looking like you're gonna land, so we'll have to change this. There we go, cheeky critical. And we'll do the same thing to you. Nice. I seem to have got it. We're doing this on the very edge of my health bar right here. They seem to be distracted on something else. There we go. Root view. 5,000. Not too bad. I'm in plain sight, guys. Come on, that shouldn't have taken you that long. So, the main point here is that I reckon with a Power Fist and a build specifically built for Unarmed, I would have easily probably cleared everything out there. 
Um, because I just had all of these defensive perks. That's what I wanted you to do, mate. You've just played yourself. A Ghoul Slayer's Assault Rifle. Well, you got me right back, didn't you? So, I would have had Blocker and uh, Barbarian to give me a ton more resistance throughout that, so I probably wouldn't have gone down. But I, I should have died anyway, because I saw explicitly my health bar jumping back up, because Bethesda make a game good code and stuff. Well, clear out the rest of these bastards, and then we'll call it a video there. Not, I don't usually do, do these during the day, but stealth seems to be working fine enough. It, it met its satisfactory conclusion there. We still managed to stay in caution for most of that, so that's helpful. Ooh, ultraslight sensor array? I don't have that on Miranda. Maybe I should transfer that over. I really should have it, though. Anyway, so I think you get the point that there was a golf club, and with full adrenaline, we're hitting for 1261. That's pretty good, but like I said, it's never going to beat this, even when yeah, there's, there's no contest here, but, you know, if you're a big fan of The Last of Us and you want to recreate those precious moments in this game, I don't know, PvP is kind of neutered right now, but you can pretend to ghoul it. Never mind, let's not get into spoiler territory. Thank you for watching, guys.